you know, it's a good week for trailers. Yesterday, if not the, then one of the best trailers I've seen all year, and certainly my favorite James Bond trailer uh, I think I've ever seen, uh, the, the No Time to Die trailer dropped yesterday. And today, a nice, delightful surprise, I didn't know to expect this, a brand new Milan trailer dropped. Now, I've been looking forward to Milan. I've been looking forward to this movie. I like the direction, you know, after getting off to a bit of a rough start, <laughs> that's being kind, uh, of Disney making their live action adaptations, they've started to find their groove, uh, to me at any rate. And Mulan is definitely a story that I think is very cinematic in scope that you could very easily transfer over into a live action environment. I thought the first trailer was quite nice. It was a good first trailer. Didn't blow my socks off, but I, I was really impressed by the beauty of it. Like the, you know, the the the, uh, the landscapes and this wide scope and felt good. Today, a new trailer had dropped. And I would say it's the best trailer I've seen in a while if it wasn't for the James Bond trailer yesterday. So not quite the pop of the James Bond trailer, but this was a damn good trailer. It gave me a great sense of the characters. I mean, just when you take little moments, like again, we saw it before, but they played it again with the dad bravely, even though he's got a bum leg. Like, sucking up is like, I will fight. And it's like, Grr. and the daughter's like, mm -mm, not on my watch. And she, I mean, it's just <laughs> such a great thing. And then the landscapes and seeing Donnie Yen. And they also gave us a little taste of, of a couple of the villains with the main warlord and the witch. We got a little glimpse of the phoenix. Is that the Mushu kind of fill in here? I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're going for uh, with it. But I thought it was beautiful. And I bought into the lead character. Their sweetness and their strength. And... I just thought it looked gorgeous. I I am I was okay. I liked the first one, liked the first trailer, but this this was a real special little trailer. Rob, you had a chance to check this trailer out from Milan. What are you, what are your thoughts right now, dude? This movie looks right up my alley. I mean, I've been watching Asian adventure, martial arts, science fiction films my whole life, and this sort of checks all of those boxes. And I I I couldn't be more excited. I mean, this movie is so sumptuous to look at. Uh, it looks gigantic in scope. Um, it even has a lot of verisimilitude. I like that. It's it's really grounded. It seems like they shot in, in I'm sure there's a lot of visual effects, obviously, but they, they shot in real locations. You're in the beautiful mountains. You're in these ancient cities. I mean, I, I'm watching this going, we, were, we talked about being excited about the first trailer, but this trailer, I'm in. Man, I, I think this looks fantastic. Yeah, I thought it looked really good, too. Anyway, Aaron, you just watched it I did. literally about five minutes ago. What were your impressions of the Mulan trailer? I agree with Rob. I thought it was absolutely breathtaking from just the scenery to the colors of the fabric, everything. And I do believe that the um, when the woman jumps up in the air and then turns into a falcon, I think that was actually practical. That was not CGI. Uh, that was the one thing that you might get thrown off about. But... Also, to see so many familiar faces, we've got Jason Scott Lee and Lee Gong and um, Jet Li, along with a lot of newcomers to Western audiences that are, that are going to be really exciting to watch as they continue to develop. But what I also what felt at the end of it was just this great sense of pride. You know, it is one of those quintessential storyers of a warrior is not a warrior until a warrior is called. And oh, you see that I love moment. That. <laughs> I love so that. good. That, I, gotta, I gotta make a t-shirt that says that. That's great. Thank you. I actually just made it up. Um, <laughs> but it really, it is that moment of, oh, I this wasn't my plan, but clearly this is what has to be done. Mm. And clearly... I'm the person to do it. And I, I just, I, I, I love that moment of realization. And then, and also there's so many stories of women going into war masquerading as men. I mean, it's, it's happened in just about every war you can imagine, but those stories are not often told. When I saw this, I didn't think, oh, that's a Disney movie. It doesn't say, mm. doesn't even say Disney when I watch it. And, and, and it almost struck me as like, oh yeah, I forgot this was Disney when I saw their logo, which I also love. You know what else I like? They end the trailer on her face. Yes. You know, it's not like some gigantic twister-esque thing when a cow is flying at the camera because it's been <laughs> thrown that way by a tornado. I mean, it's on her face because it is about her. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I just, man, I'm in, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it looked really good. Question here is, guys. What did you think about this Moonlaw trailer? Did it get you more excited? Did it move the needle? Maybe not at all. What did you guys think? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.